Hello, Jack. Today, the detective asks his questions. Be so kind as to state your name and current business at the Marshall House. As I'm reviewing the data, well, it'll help my memory. <clears throat> of course. My name is House. Josette Marshall. Donnie Lawrence. Arthur Pickering. Rosanna Spearman. Grayson Hearn Castle. Candy Collins. Paul Stoddard. I'm developing an app called Libria. People call me Maya. I'm an administrator at uh, St. Agatha's. I'm in negotiations with St. Agatha's and you know what? Why don't I just give you my card? I'm a consultant. I came to help with the gala and um, to visit for the holidays. I'm Donnie Lawrence's personal assistant. I mean, I help her. I'm the Marshall Estate Manager. I own the place. Josette has been so kind to let me stay here until other lodging arrangements can be made. I go to school here. I'm also a student at St. Agatha's. Josette invited me to stay at our house's academic year rather than the dormitories. I was brought on to help oversee the sale of the Moonstone and to help transfer the resulting funds to St. Agatha's College. I have a lot of personal connections here. Because of my relationship with the estate, I was asked to oversee the transference of money and assets from the Marshall House to the school. Is House your first or last name? It's it's just house. Mr. Herncastle, mm -hmm. you were not involved with the gala itself, correct? I attended. Yes, but that was not your business here. No, no, no. Like I said, I'm here representing my app, Libria. Donnie and Jack thought it would be a great fit for St. Agatha, so they connected me with Paul. The timing for the gala just happened to overlap with my visit. Josette. How was the party, hmm? It was perfect. Oh, the food was delicious. The atmosphere was fun. And we danced. Oh, I wish you could have been there. So do I, my dear. So do I. You were the last one awake the night of the gala. Is that, is that right? Yes, yes. I performed one last check of all the doors before I retired to my quarters. And that was around, what, say, 3? Uh, yes, uh, 3 a.m. <laughs> that is late. I'm a mess if I'm not in bed by 10. <laughs> yes. It was a late night. <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, even in that, I was not able to sleep. Really? Well, I read several chapters of Robinson Crusoe before the, uh, the excitement of the evening wore off, and I was able to turn in. And did you hear anyone moving about while you were reading? Uh, no, nothing. Uh, save the storm. The house was quiet. Do you happen to remember what you did after the gala? Well, I wasn't originally planning on staying the night, but I had walked to the gala and there was a bad storm that night. Josette convinced me to stay over. After the gala was over and we cleaned up, I went to bed. I slept like a rock. Really? Yeah, I know that's not very helpful. No, no, it is. It is. Yeah, I, I don't have much else to say that hasn't already been said. I, uh, I helped clean up the gala. I volunteered to sleep by the moonstone. I woke up and, and it was gone. You were the one that discovered the Moonstone was missing, is that right? Yes. I'm sure you weren't looking at a clock, but approximately... Seven. Probably around 7 a.m. So you were up early for school, huh? Uh, I, um, I was just coming back home. From? Look, I don't normally do this, but I spent a night with someone. Oh. We hit it off with a gala, and he's a really nice guy. No, say no more. Say no more. I, that's not why I'm here. From what you've seen, would, would anyone here have a reason to steal the Moonstone? Oh, 
11 million dollars. That's a pretty good reason. Yes, yes. Well, what I mean is, within this house, is there anyone that would be motivated by that kind of money? Ah, uh, I see. Um, you know, anything I say is just going to be speculation or gossip, so... Um, no, no, nothing comes to mind. I'm, I'm so sorry. I really wish I could be more helpful. Look, I'm good with computers. Sorry. You're gonna find this out anyway, so better to have it out now than later. I'm probably the only one here with a criminal record. For? Hacking. Well, fortunately for you, Miss Spearman, this is not a cybercrime. Although I do appreciate your transparency. I just have a word about a certain individual. Oh? Uh, Maya, the student. Yes, yes. <clears throat> You'll likely find that she uh, has a bit of a history, uh, legally speaking. Yes, I have. <clears throat> I believe that way of life to be behind her. I would hope that uh, she is not unfairly treated for the poor choices of yesteryear. Your vouching for her means a good deal, a great deal. You, uh, you have a bit of history with this house, don't you? Yes, but I didn't take the Moonstone. What did you do instead? Video conferencing with some clients in Japan. I actually didn't get all that much sleep, but I can give you the names of those clients if you like. No. Do you happen to remember if you, you heard anyone up and about while you were on your call? No, but I had earbuds in, so that doesn't surprise me. Yes, of course. How long have you lived here? Um, I've been at the school for two years, mm -hmm. but I've only lived here for one. Josette invited me once Maya arrived. She didn't want her to be alone. So you're friends, you and Maya? Um, uh, <laughs> I wouldn't say that. I don't think she likes me. Who does she like? Donnie. Donnie. And Lucy is her best friend. Lucy? Does she live here too? No, she works at Davidson's, the local coffee shop. Maya, I heard this is your first year at St. Agatha's. What brought you to the school? Donnie. And how do you know her? Uh, we're both military kids. She thought this would be a good fit for me. The school? Aunt Jo. There's not much of you in the officer's notes. Oh, uh, that's because there's not much to tell. I um, haven't been sleeping very well lately, so oh, I... Well why do you think that is? Stress. I have a lot on my mind and my plate. The gala. That, and um, uh, my dad is going through chemo. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Thanks. Arthur, you were brought in to help with the Moonstone specifically, is that right? Yes, that's correct. Why is that? Well, as capable a representative of the law as Donnie is, she wanted an objective party to oversee this particular transaction. Because of the value of the Moonstone? Yes, she didn't want the possibility or suggestion of foul play or favoritism to accompany the Moonstone. That's, that's really admirable, wouldn't you say? I would. So, do you think you'd be staying here long? Honestly? I don't know. Um, maybe it's the curse of the Moonstone, but, uh, things seem to be falling apart. Mm. Yes, the loss of the diamond. Mm. Oh, um, with Paul. Well, you're a friend of the house, are you not, Paul? Yeah, most people would say they're friends of the house. Yes, but what I mean to say is you have a relationship with the people who live in the house, correct? Yeah, yeah. And how is that relationship? I'm sorry. I don't mean to pry. Yeah.
Has it been squeaking like this all day? <clears throat> My name. I. <clears throat> so I. <laughs> Chair. What are you guys talking about? You know, funny story, this reminds me of a time that we donated chairs to a school in need in Sri Lanka. It sounded just like this, I swear. <laughs> said that there was a squeak. There's not. I kind of like it. <laughs> Is this mahogany? Sorry. I'm not even here. <laughs> My name is... I am not... Suzette, I hate to even bring this up, but would you be willing to consent to a search of your personal belongings and, and electronic devices? I will only conduct this examination if the group is unanimously in favor of it, okay? Of course. Of course! Hmm, well, I, I don't see why not. Oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah. If you think it would be helpful. Sure. Yes. No. Yes, of course. Thank you for your time. Yeah.